when we create reasons for ourselves to become this kind of person rather than that, we wholeheartedly become the people that we are. We might say that we become the authors of our own lives. So when we face hard choices, we shouldn't beat our head against a wall trying to figure out which alternative is better. There is no best alternative. Instead of looking for reasons out there, we should be looking for reasons in here. Who am I to be? You might decide to be a pink sock wearing, cereal loving, country living banker. And I might decide to be a black sock wearing, urban donut loving artist. What we do in hard choices is very much up to each of us. Now, people who don't exercise their normative powers in hard choices are drifters. We all know people like that. I drifted into being a lawyer. I didn't put my agency behind lawyering. I wasn't for lawyering. Drifters allow the world to write the story of their lives. They let mechanisms of reward and punishment, pats on the head, fear, the easiness of an option, to determine what they do. So the lesson of hard choices, reflect on what you can put your agency behind, on what you can be for, and through hard choices, become that person. Far from being sources of agony and dread, hard choices are precious opportunities for us to celebrate what is special about the human condition, that the reasons that govern our choices as correct or incorrect sometimes run out. And it is here, in the space of hard choices, that we have the power to create reasons for ourselves to become the distinctive people that we are.